Hello and welcome to what I suppose you can call episode 27 and a half as I'm building my way through the Battle Games in Middle Earth magazines. Now this month for me is incredibly busy with work and also I'm actually taking a summer holiday, uh, going to the beach. Uh, so I don't have very much time and I've also just come to the end of a very big build of a massive castle and so I've thought that what I'm going to do for this video, the first half will be the bit that I missed out last month which is finishing off the advanced builds of building the two towers that are going to go on the sides of the entrance from Prop Fox. And then at the end I'm going to do a showcase of the entire build, everything that I've done for these last four or five months um, and we'll have a look around and maybe get some miniatures on it and have a little bit of fun at the end of the video as well. So that's the plan. We'll see whether I achieve it or not. Uh, as always I'm standing here um, before I've done anything uh, and uh, yeah I'll be as surprised as you um, about the outcome of this video but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Do leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, uh, if you enjoy the um, any of the concepts or ideas I show. I'd love to know if you've uh, used them or if you've got any alternatives I'm always, uh, always looking to learn so do please fire them over. I'll stop rambling now we'll get over to the bench we're going to do the first half building these towers and then the second half looking as I said so let's get building. What we have here is the entrance as I say that was uh, built up around the Prop Fox kit which is absolutely fantastic and I will attempt to remember to put a link in the description below to that um, but yeah I highly recommend it and what we have on this side is the beginnings of the towers that are going to flank this. Now the concept I've got is this is the outside as you can see because here is the uh, drawbridge and this is the inside and what we'll have is on each side of these we'll have one of these and I have glued down a um, six centimeter white um, expander polystyrene into the uh, MDF base as you can see using my uh, the glue. Um, which is gator glue, that's it. And the concept will be is that we'll have one on each side like this, um, which, uh, which brings it up to the base level, the same level as, as inside of that. And then the bottom bit will be solid. So I will have some steps coming up, going into the tower. And then the, it'll basically be a block. It's gonna be a very basic build this, and this is actually following a concept. So it'll be a, a squared off tower, all the way around the edges of this with steps going up to a platform here so that you can basically attack into this inner courtyard but not be at, not and there's going to be no access coming through this direction so I'm going to work out how to do that because I'm not totally sure. I've got two ideas. One of them might work. I'm not sure. The uh, first idea is to literally make it monolithic. So get some more of this white foam, um, have it actually cut in half, do one of them solid up to the level I want it, and one of them with steps cut out. Now that probably is going to end up being the easiest, and that's why I have this other white foam here, um, which you can see. So I can kind of give a little bit of an idea about what the, what this would be. So bearing in mind that this is the outside, this is the inside, so I could potentially cut steps into this. As you can see, that's gonna not quite reach, so I'm gonna need to have a little bit of more thickness, but I can cut steps coming up here so that you can access the platform here. And then this side would be no steps at all, so it would just be monolithic. And that's what I think I'm gonna do. I don't think there's any point in attempting to do it hollow because I don't want access to it, uh, uh, from here. And all you're gonna be wanting to do is to throw rocks and oil down on the on the people that are entering um, if they do manage to get through so so yeah so i'm going to get that planned and then i will show you how i'm going to cut it out i'll probably be using my proxon and what have you um, and then we'll clad it in the same way so with those amazing roof tiles which have been such a eye opener through this entire process we'll clad it in the roof tiles so that it matches and then do a little bit of kind of scenicing on these on these ends here so yeah that's the plan Next time you see me, I will be probably looking at making some cuts. I've already had to go a little bit kind of butchery on this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so what I realized is that I actually need to have steps coming up all the way from the bottom. So I got out my Stanley knife and a straight edge, um, which is this, and I've managed to cut out a, um, a, a slot which is great. So what that'll mean is that I now have roughly the thickness of this wall. So what I'll be looking at doing is probably cutting out a key and then having the stairs coming up in the middle. So it's gonna be a bit more complex to cut, but I think it's gonna work a little bit better if the stairs 
um, come up here and then come up here, then there'll be more of a platform here for, for the um, uh, defenders to stand rather than if the stairs came straight up here where it would actually mean they wouldn't have as much access to the ledge. Um, unfortunately, when I cut it, the um, EPS did split, so I'm not going to be able to make use of the piece that I extracted from there. Um, and I'm going to have to do the same cut on the other side. Um, which will hopefully will go just as well um, as this first one um, but yeah so what I'll do next once I've done that is measure up work out what, I'm, what pieces I need um, and then cut them on the uh, on, on the proxon what I should have done now I realize before I stuck this all down is stuck a block here leaving this bit and then worked out all of the stairs and then stuck that block on second but yeah as you know with me, sometimes I start things too soon and then I have to kind of backtrack and do it differently. So anyway, I think this is going to be fine and I will bring you along for the next step when I get to it. Well then that ended up being a little easier than I expected. So what I've got is I've cut these two sections and they're about 10 centimeters by seven and a half centimeters, 100 by 75. And then um, I've cut out a five centimeter, 50 millimeter block that is going to be where the steps are going to be and then put a block on the outside which I'll glue in place now and probably pin also, let's throw that both on the floor. Um, so what we'll be end up with is you'll end up with the wall with the steps coming up and then turning to go up uh, the next level. So that's how that's going to work um, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, so I'm going to glue these in place now and then start cutting these steps. Obviously you're going to need to have a platform on the top so I'll need to come up that in about half the length but that's fine. I've got plenty of space there to come up half the length on both of those. So I'll probably get that glued in and the steps glued in now and then leave that to go off and then work on the next step tomorrow because uh yeah it's getting a bit late now and um i haven't got a huge amount of time so i need to crack on with this but i think that's going to work really nicely it's going to look pretty good uh, when it comes to actually uh, putting it all together it's going to work it's going to tell the story and that's very important to me um bit of a bit of a bodge to start this hopefully the rest of this build will go a bit smoother um but at least it looks okay so that's them cut, just did the, uh, with the proxon, you can see just how nicely that does fit in and how well that's gonna look. So that will be the other, the other side. So these steps will come from here, climb up, and then go up to the top. So I'm gonna use gator glue. I had a bit of a dr uh, disaster um, in that the top actually completely snapped off. I'm gonna need to order another bottle anyway. Um, so I'm making use of cling film to try to keep it from going off. Um, and as you can see, this is me finding out whether that's going to have worked or not live on camera, as I do. So um, hopefully it has. So it seems like it has. Um, and to get around that, what I've been doing is using a little tongue depressor as a spatula. So um, yeah, just uh, another bit of a excitement to add to this build that my glue broke. Uh, so yeah, so I'll get this glued in and maybe I'll pin it with some... Um, cocktail sticks i'm not totally sure if i bother um or not but uh, yeah we'll just use the gator glue weight it down maybe pin it with some cocktail sticks and uh, and then leave it overnight and that will be very very solid by the morning because this stuff is very very solid indeed so that's one done i'll do the other and uh, i'll show you what it looks like when we come to the next step so the next step is kind of like uh Jenga, <laughs> but in reverse. So I'm attempting to build up the next levels, having got the base level on both sides actually done quite nicely. So you can see here, we have our steps coming up um, to here, but then it will turn the corner, it will go up from there. So what I will now be doing is basically cutting out a load of pieces of EPS like this to build up the level. So I'm going to need another piece exactly the same as this to go on top so that it gets to the right height and another piece which I do actually have here which I was just offering off over there which will finish off the stairs. So the stairs will basically be cut into this section here um, and I need to be reaching the top somewhere around here. So I'll be do doing um, I'll, I'll be doing that on the Proxon again. So I will mark off where I want to cut here and where the stairs are going to go. So I'll cut a, a um, key out here and then make it into the stairs, then glue it back in and put that level on. And then once I've done that, I'll be able to work out exactly where the stairs are going to go onto this next piece. Um, cut that key out again and continue the stairs up so they're up to the right level. Now you can see 
that that is actually going to be just below the level of this, which I think actually is a bit of a bonus in disguise, because what I can do is I can do crenellations at this level so that um, you're throwing the, you know, so the attack can go in over the top here. So that's what I'm going to do. It's not going to be a massively high tower, it's more going to be just the sides of the gatehouse. So I'm going to carry that on and uh, I will keep cutting and measuring and what have you. And then when I've got all the bits for one side, I'll show you what I've got. And then I will duplicate that on the other because there's no point in showing the same thing twice. Um, but my aim for this evening is to have all of these stacks built so that tomorrow I can start cladding and painting. All right, so let me show you what I've got uh, and then I'm going to start to glue it together. So on this side, I've pretty much cut everything out. On this side, I've just got blocks. So what we have is two that are lengths of exactly the same, which are going to stack here and be the outer wall. Um, and then I cut actually these in half in the end. This is um, six centimeters, six and a half centimeters. Um, and that will be blocked up of each other. And then we have the stairs section. Now you can see here that I've got some steps and you can see that they're not perfectly accurate but that should be okay um, because I will be cladding this so that, that gap will be completely not met, not there so I just had a little bit of a mistake in the, uh, in the actual cutting of that length. But what I have here is a template so um, I will grab this side and show you how that works. So what you do is you offer that up there hold it in place and then you can use the proxon or another hot wire tool or whatever to cut down the steps and that is what I've done on both of these sections and it has worked pretty well I'm pretty pleased with that. So what I'm going to do is glue this together using my gator glue, cut the other side and glue that together as well. All I have to do right now is cut out the stair sections. Uh, these are six centimeter long stair sections and I will keep this template for use in other builds. Um, and yeah, uh, then I'll leave it to dry. I do actually have to get another section to go here um, on the other side of the stairs. Um, so if I just move this. So going up there, I need to do a little bit of a um, little bit of a, um, a VPS as well, which I'll cut. Um, I have like other, I have lots of off cuts that I can make use of, um, so I'll do that the same. Uh, glue it together and then tomorrow we'll have a look at cladding it and painting it. So next thing to do on this is to put the cladding on. Now I've got some spare of the um, roof tile and for this I'm going to need to have the edge that has the bevel on it because Pretty much all sides of this I'm going to want to have protruding a little bit above like so, so that I can have the crenellations uh, and what have you. And I'm going to need to have that on this side, on this side, on this side, but pretty much the whole of it needs to be done like that, which is a bit frustrating because it means there's going to be a bit of waste, but I will always make use of this stuff, I save it. So what I'm going to do is measure and cut. So I'm going to measure the height of that and then add another uh, two centimeters or so and then cut that out here um, and I'll do the same all the way around and I'll do the same for the other side as well and then I'll glue that on um, probably using PVA but maybe using gator glue I'm not sure um, and leave that to dry and then I can start to uh, do the uh, rest of the uh, texturing. I'm also going to be putting the flags on the top so cutting out the squares <laughs> as you know I love that so much cutting out the squares um, gluing these on the top here for where the people will be walking uh, and I'll be using the same technique as, as I have done in all the other videos where behind where the overlap is I'll have another section of this textured which will be sitting on the top of the uh, of, of this inside here so I may not put uh, any cladding on this inside wall. Um, I think I won't on these inside walls, uh, but I will do on all of the outsides. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get that done now and I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. It's just gonna be measure, cut, stick, repeat. These are now all done to a good state. I have just noticed that that uh, pin has come out the front, which I don't want. So I'll have to re-stick re that in. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've put the cardboard on the top as well for uh, for the, for the uh, so it looks like it's got uh, like it's paved. Um, now one thing you will notice is this light brown. What I've done is I've actually used filler because I had some gaps, particularly down the sides of the steps, etc., which I filled in just using wood filler. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the black paint and sand, uh, which you can see the technique in the previous videos as well, um, and then do the dry brushing, etc., etc. So I get all of that done, um, and I will also be working on these little sections here just do brown paint and sand dry brush it and put a little bit of grass on it uh, with my homemade flock 
so yeah so it's pretty much nearly done uh, which is good because then i can actually get this all set out and we can have a bit of a look over the whole of the project which is what the main part of this video was about uh, so yeah i'll get this finished and then we will when i come back next it will all be together i think and uh, yeah we can see what it looks like all right so i've done the uh, dry brushing and the painting and everything and what i'm now going to do uh, is the base basing so I use a very similar technique, actually an identical technique, but using brown paint rather than grey. Um, regular viewers will know this well. So don't put too much, it doesn't have to be too wet, but put a good amount, a good amount of brown paint. This is uh, just, I think it's called chocolate, uh, mixed with PVA and water. You see it's quite a watery mix, that's how I like it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some sand on it, uh, shake it straight off and then that will be done. So let me do that. My bucket of sand is just over here. Okay, there we are. So when that's dry, I'll kick the camera. When that's dry, I will paint some more of the brown over the top and then I'll come along and do the flocking. So when, I've done, when I'm ready for the flocking, I'll bring you for the next one and then we're going to set it all up and have a look at it and I'm very excited. As you can see, we've got the texture on and it's been had the extra coating of the brown paint added to it. So what I'm now going to do is take some of my um, terrain glue, which is basically made in the same way but without adding paint, put a covering of that over the top and then sprinkle on some flock. Um, and I'll do that very spar sparsely and sparingly because I don't want it to be a massively green swad of grass. It needs to look a bit scrubby, I think. Um, and then when that's dried, um, I'll put another coat of this glue over the top and then it'll be done. So the next time you see this, we'll be looking at the whole thing put out on the table um, and maybe we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of a fly through the whole design and the whole thing and have a look at some of the different ways it could be set up. Very, very cool. And there it is. That was a lot of fun putting together. I'm sure you noticed that I did make the mistake. <laughs> I forgot to put the drawbridge down and I placed this right up against the walls and I looked and I was like, well, that's not very secure, is it? That's not very safe. But obviously this is where the ditch is. So ideally what you'd do if you were playing this would get like some black card or something or line this on either side because this is where you can't get across is this gap here goes all the way across the table so the idea is is this is like the ramas ekor this is the uh, outer defenses um, and then this is the main keep now this is a six by four table and it only just fits on <laughs> it's a, it's a very big build and also if you look inside the keep only just fits inside the walls so probably what i would suggest that you do if you're going to do this and what i might do but i say i might do and i probably won't is make three lengths like this um uh, for each side so three on each side nine there but then rather than having halves next to the uh next to the entrance have hole lengths there so that will then make that whole uh, uh, curtain wall bigger and then it will make this look a little bit less ridiculous because yeah I mean look at that tiny little thing <laughs> uh, it was quite nice that it fitted these steps in so that you could kind of go straight from the wall across down and on into the uh, central keep but that's also not very secure so once you've uh, once the enemy has got up this wall, they can just go straight to the keep. So anyway, yeah, not, not very clever. Um, obviously, this is only a game thing, and so you're not going to get it exactly 100% right. But still, I think I should make it a little bit bigger, just to make it a little bit more uh, enjoyable to play in, because it's going to be really hard to play inside here. Completely pointless, frankly. But it goes together really well. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Uh, I do have more tower than this because obviously I made uh, a tower that could be standalone, um, but I decided not to put it on here. Um, uh, you could, I suppose, have a tower over here as well on top. Um, these are turned out really well. This is what I did this uh, this 
um, build of course with these two end pieces and I think they look wicked they're going to be really nice you're going to be able to defend that uh, ramp up and also you're going to be able to defend should they get through the first you're able to defend that little courtyard area there really nicely so yeah pretty pleased with that I know that Tyler has now done or is currently working on um, a full keep which you can be sure I'll be buying as soon as he puts on sale and I'll bring that to the channel as well so you can look out for that but check him out Prop Fox really really good stuff and that's a really really cool entrance that, that goes in the middle there that came from him so yeah there we are that is what all of the build from the last four months looks like and uh, yeah it's pretty impressive uh, I'm, I'm looking at it going did i really make that but yeah i did and anyone can if i can anyone can so uh, why not build along and have some fun for yourself i hope you've enjoyed these i really have uh, next month uh, in the uh, battle against middle earth is a bit of a different one um, it's going to be going over to the um, i believe it's the dam um, which the Ents tear down, Saruman's Dam, so that's going to be fun, tying in, I think, to the existing rivers that I made a little while ago. So, yeah, there we are, the uh, keep. It does look impressive. <laughs> look at that. I'm, I'm really, really quite pleased with that. Well, there you are. What a great result that was. And I think it looks really, really nice on the table. I'm very, very pleased with it. And I'm also pleased I took this little bit of a pause to do this um, 28 and a half episode. Uh, it took a lot of the pressure off uh, and it's meant that I've really enjoyed it. And now I'm really gasping to get stuck into the next month's build. So yeah, you've got that to look forward to. So let me know what you think. Let me know if this has inspired you. Let me know if you've done nothing similar. I'd love to hear from you. I do reply to all my comments and they really do encourage me and inspire me and um, prompt me to make more videos so don't be shy do say hello below particularly if you haven't yet it's always nice to see new names pop up down there and yeah i'll wrap this up and uh, say thanks so much for watching particularly if you did get this far and as always please stay healthy stay safe and stay well